Hey everybody, it's Angela, and I'm going to use this Amy Tangerine cut and paste paper pad to do a layout today. And this is an older paper pad uh, that I've had in my stash for a while, and I want to use it to scrapbook these three pictures of my grandson Mason who helped himself to some Cheerios. And the papers in this collection were just perfect because it had the red that matched his outfit, and the outfit actually has some green cuffs on it. And this collection had not only the green, but it also had a dark wood grain, kind of like um, the floor that he's sitting on. So I go ahead and I pull the papers out and I'm going to use this white background uh, paper to help keep the layout from getting too dark. Um, because of the floor and everything, I knew it was going to be a little bit challenging with these photos, but I wanted it to be bright and light and fun because it, it's kind of a fun little memory of him just kind of helping himself to a snack um, while his mom was, um, she was changing the diaper on her newborn. And so he just had the opportunity to go and get himself a snack. And so the paper collection comes with these cut apart cards. So I'm just going to take this one, uh, patterned one and use it for a mat and that will bring in all the different colors that are around the edge of that background paper and that I want to use um, for the matting. So you can see how that just kind of brings in all the colors. It's got the yellow, the pink, blue, green, it's got everything in there. I also like that green love this card because like I said it does bring in some of the green on his outfit and I also like the sentiment and then the yellow because the yellow just seems to brighten you know everything up the way I'm in a position this is kind of in a vertical column as you can see it's kind of progressing as and the first column is going to be on the right hand third of the layout and then the second column right next to it will be kind of in the middle so that's kind of how I'm going to position everything and so I'm starting to like that and the red and white card there is a scraptastic this life noted card when I used to get their this life noted kit and so I just pulled that one out I wasn't too sure about the sentiment but I love that bright red color it was a really good match so I do wind up covering the sentiment up with something else later but um, it just gives me that nice red layer so I decide to crop uh, two of the photos down to fit the cut apart cards and they had some you know extra space on them where I could crop it down without um, cutting out anything important and then that green card I'm just going to crop down so I can use the uh, kind of the love this part and have it finish off my column there so I'm really liking this. I decided to move it over, like I said, so it's kind of more toward the right hand side of the layout. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start matting my photos down. And I just love how bright and cheerful this layout turned out. I was a little apprehensive just because the photos were so dark with the dark wood floor. Um, that I was, you know, consciously making an effort to keep this bright and cheery and fun. So I go ahead and put that column down. And I'm thinking about substituting another one of the cut apart cards or different This Life Noted card. But no, I really like that, that pop of red. So I'm going to go back to that Scraptastic card. It just kind of helps balance out those photos. So I go ahead and put that down. And the upper right hand photo is kind of like my focal photo just because I think it's cropped really well. The, the baby is larger in the photo and he's looking directly at the camera and it's nice and in focus and he's sitting there just you know unashamedly uh, 
with Cheerios all around, where the other two he's smaller and the one he's moving to offer his mom a Cheerio in that bottom right hand one. So he's moving so it's a little bit blurry on that one and the other one he's not looking at the camera. So um, I put the upper right hand picture on the darker red because I thought that would make it pop a little more as my focal photo. And so these are some cards from We Are Memory Keepers that I got at Tuesday morning. And it was like $1.99 for this whole pack of cards. And you saw all those little square cards with cut aparts and then these bigger square cards that are all die cut and stuff, frames and everything. And so they were just um, a great deal for $1.99. And they had some wood grain in there, which worked well with the wood grain of the floor. And I really loved this sentiment, uh, uh, Little Moments, Big Memories. And I love that better than the sentiment that's on the Scraptastic card. So I decided to just use that as my title. And then I like that little die cut arrow in the hello too, to have some, you know, uh, just some smaller embellishments that also have that wood grain. So I decide to chop off the rounded corners. And then I'm going to position those in a couple different areas. So that kind of gives me that visual triangle of three wood grain embellishments. And then what am I doing now? Oh, and then because, uh, you know, I have some of this wood grain. I thought it'd be a great time to use some cork. Uh, I don't use it near enough, I think because it is a little bit darker and stuff. So I have to have the right layout to use it on. And this being, you know, kind of a boy page and having all the wood grain, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity. So I have some leftover bits from Scraptastic kits. I have this one Studio Calico one that I have never used. And, um, then I remembered I had a few tiny cork elements um, that I had thrown in the bottom of a uh, dish where all my wood veneers are. So I go digging for those. And I find a couple little things. Um, there are a bunch of stars in those. Those work perfect. I pull those out. Some of them are solid stars and some of them are just the outline. So I dig through and pull those out. And then I find these wood veneers I didn't know I had. <laughs> And so I go ahead and decide to use especially all the little stars. They just seem to work really well on this. So I'm going to position them in kind of two clusters, one on the bottom right and one on the um, top left. And those are going to be where my main clusters are going to be. So kind of down here and then up at the top. So I want to do a little bit more layering on my layouts. I'm trying to at least. So I decide to um, layer a piece of that green card underneath the arrow die cut. And that just brings a touch of green up to the top of the layout as well and kind of balances the two columns. And then I'm looking for some other layering items. So I decide to go ahead and kind of mat this hello just to bring in a little more color around that, you know, and to give it another layer. So I go ahead and put that. And then I decide to put this title sentiment up on some foam tape. So I'm just going to put a couple layers of that. And this is that thinner foam tape that I got at the dollar store, which works really well get a big roll of it for a dollar. 
And before I put it down, I decide I want to do some layering under that as well. So I pull out this sticker sheet again, and this is, I believe, from Crate Paper. It's an older one. Pretty much everything on here is older from at least last year or before that, because, um, yeah, some of the Scraptastic stuff is from 2015 or 2014, and then, um, yeah, and some of the other stuff is even older. So nothing new here, just all stuff out of my stash. So I layered those two labels, the hello my story is, and then that yellow label, just kind of peeking out from under my title card. And then I go ahead and put down this hello. And then I'm just going to overlap um, some of the cork on top of that hello and around the love this just to kind of tie everything together. So I go ahead and put the heart down. I'm just using my dot adhesive. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this little wood grain arrow. And this bigger cork element um, was large enough I could just put a little piece of score tape on the back to help hold that securely. And I was going to put that star there, but then I didn't want my two open stars next to each other, so I put one solid star and one open star kind of out on the background paper. And then this star I accidentally rip when I'm putting it down, putting my adhesive on there, but I was able to stick it back together. So then I'm looking at it going, gee, you know, this is so clean and everything. What could I do? What more can I add to this? So I decide to use one of my roller uh, date stamps. So I'm just looking through. I have these cards where I've stamped everything on it so I can kind of look and see what sentiments I have. And I find this... Um, I think it's a Dear Lizzie one and I just don't want the date I just want the um, sentiment that says documented so I'm gonna use a piece of washi tape to cover over the date when I ink it up and I'm just gonna ink up the documented part and then I'll pull the washi tape off of the date so that it won't have any ink on it hope that makes sense so I'm just inking that up then I'm gonna pull off the washi tape and then stamp the word documented and I'm gonna do that in three different spots on the layout and that just you know helps me use those uh, date roller stamps so I don't think I use them enough, so that's why I made the little index cards for them. I had these little vellum geotags, and I liked that they were red, but the vellum just, the background things showed up through, and it was just a little bit too busy looking. So I decided against those. I think about using the Studio Calico cork items, but um, it was just a little bit of overkill of cork, you know, just a little bit too much cork. So I decide against that as well. So I'm like, okay, what else can I add? And so I do have some washi tape on my desk. So I pull out the red washi tape first, but it just looks a little cluttery or a little bit, again, a little overkill. Maybe it was too bold of a color I should, you know, have gone with something not quite as bold. So I pull that off and decide to go with this really thin arrow washi, which brings in the same arrow icon and it also brings in a little bit of gold because the arrows are um, kind of hot stamped in gold. So I like that. This washi though, it's really thin. It's not very adhesive. So I kind of pull a little bit off to see if the adhesive gets stronger the further in the roll you go, uh, but not really. So if it doesn't stick on there very well, I'll take some wet glue and um, stick that on there a little better. But it was holding on okay. 
And so since I put the, that touch of gold on the washi, I decided to put a few gold sprinkles on there. So I'm just going to do them uh, around my two clusters. And then I am calling this one done. Again, it's another kind of clean layout. Um, I'm working on doing a little bit more on my layering, but um, I'm, I'm still working on that. So anyhow, I do love how it turned out. It's bright, it's cheerful, and it's just um, a cute little memory. So there you can see the close-ups. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or anything on this, just leave me a comment below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!